Ah, uh, oh damn, they took the lead. They're gonna win. Oh damn, they absolutely killed us. They had us on a run there. They had us in the first half. Yo, it was me to a TV. Come back at you guys with another rebuild video. Now today, we got the Miami Heat, the team that was just beaten by the Lakers in game six in the NBA Finals. But this team is actually pretty crappy in terms of NBA rebuilds, at least to start off. What we're going to do is I think we're going to keep Jimmy Butler for one year unless like we can get like a crazy trade for him. Bam Adebayo, we're keeping him. Gordon Drogic, he's a little bit too old. We got to get rid of him. Tally Hero, he's going to stay. And basically everybody except Duncan Robinson can go, basically. But, of course, we got to keep Udonis Haslam on the team. I think it's pretty much tradition until he retires. Maybe after this year he'll retire. But, with that being said, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's get into some trades. Okay, for our first trade, we're going to be trading away Gordon Drogic and Andre Iguodala to the Pelicans. And we're going to be getting back Lonzo Ball. And you know we're getting Lonzo Ball. We're going to hear his father's mouth about moving to his third team. So, let's make the trade. And hopefully Lonzo can be a really big piece of the future. Okay, as good as Jimmy Butler is, I don't think he's going to carry us to a championship. So what we're going to do is we're going to be getting Kristaps Porzingis, Jalen Brunson, and Dorian Finney-Smith. And they're going to come in, and I think they're going to do really good, especially Kristaps Porzingis, because we're going to move Bam to the power forward position, and we're going to have Kristaps at the center position. So our two big men should just absolutely dominate. dominate all around the paint and outside shooting. All right, so this is the final team going into the first season. Uh, we couldn't really make much trades considering what we were given, but we got Bam Adebayo, Kristaps Porzingis, Tyler Hero, who's gonna be really good for us, Lonzo Ball, Duncan Robinson, Jalen Brunson, uh, Kelly Olenek, and Kendrick Nunn, and Finney Jr. Everybody else really doesn't matter. Um, so that's basically the team. So I'll see y'all at the end of the season. I have a strong feeling we're going to make the playoffs. At least. And you never know. The Miami Magic might come out again. I'll see y'all there. Oh, yeah. One more trade. We're going to be trading away Derek Jr. and Myers Leonard for Jeremy Grant and Victor. I'll just say Victor. Lacto or whatever this dude's name is. I know a lot of you guys have lost faith in me after I traded Jimmy Butler. But... I'm not going to lie. I lost faith in myself a little bit because I thought it was maybe not the best move. But this record says otherwise. We went 53-29. and 29. That's, come on. We got a better season than what they got in real life, I'm pretty sure. So with that being said, let's check out some awards. Luka Dantich, MVP, averaging 34 points, 11 assists, and 8 assists. I mean, 11 rebounds and 8 assists. That's just Luka numbers. Windler, I guess. Brandon Clark, six man, defensive player Giannis, of course, and Omar Spellman. It seems like we get new, improved players every year. That's something that doesn't change. Alvin Gentry, really? Okay. Um, Luca, Trey, same people. Yeah, it's basically all the same people. Nobody cares about us. So we are the number one seed. Come on, man. And y'all, y'all probably bash me for trading Jimmy. While, while, while look at the Dallas Mavericks, they're only the sixth seed, but we're the first seed? Come on, let's check some stats. Okay, Bam Adebayo was our leading scorer with 19 points, 12 rebounds, and he was, him and Kristaps were basically carrying the team. Kristaps, 18 points a game, eight rebounds, okay, not, not as good as I thought he would. Tyler Hero coming off the bench, averaging 14 points. He, sh I mean, 15 points. He should have been six man of the year. Duncan Robinson, 13 points, Lonzo, Lonzo 12 and 8, okay. If he can just improve, he's at 81 overall now. So, yeah, that's looking good. Jeremy Grant, okay. So, let's see if we can beat the Charlotte Hornets in the first round of playoffs. Okay. We're up 1 0. We're up 2 0. We're up 3 0. 3 1. 3 2. 4 2. They, they had me for a little scared there. I thought they might have came back. Um. Devontae Graham, 24 points, 22. Terry, 17. Malik, uh, I mean, Miles Bridges. Bam, 20 and 13. 
Lonzo, 18 and 10. Let's go, Lonzo. Um, Christoph Spazingas, he shot absolutely horrible. Three for 16. I don't know who was guarding him on that team, but they absolutely shut him down. And everybody else is pretty solid. Jeremy Grant was a nice piece. All right, now we're going to be going up against the Boston Celtics. Let's see if we can take down Jason Tam and Jalen Brown. We're up 1 0. 1 1. 2 1. 2 2. 3 2. 3 3. Oh gosh, this is a back and forth round. Um, let me go into Simcast. I'm going to change up some matchups and I'll be right with y'all. Okay, let's see if we can beat the Boston Celtics at home in game seven. Uh, oh, damn. They took the lead. They're going to win. Oh, damn. They absolutely killed us. They had us on a run there. They had us in the first half. Ah, damn. They beat us 132 to 115. Duncan Robinson, 22 points. 21 and 11 for Przingis. 20 and 10, 18. Okay. Tatum, 38 points because absolutely nobody could guard him. Jalen Brown, 22 points. Kemba, 20. Uh, this, this is not good. But with that being said, you know that we're going to go on a free agency and we're going to pick somebody up. Who knows? Maybe Kawhi? You never know. We'll see who we're going to pick up if we even have the money. I'll see y'all in the off season, or I'll see y'all in the beginning of next season. I'll see y'all there. Okay, for the first trade going into the second season, it's going to make our team a little bit more balanced. We're going to be trading away Christoph Porzingis for and Luke Kennard and a first-round draft pick in J.J. Barea for Nikola Jokic and Jonathan Isaac. Now, if we can get somebody younger than Nikola Jokic, that'd be great. But other than that, our team is going to be looking pretty stacked across our starting lineup. Right here, we're going to be getting a little bit of an upgrade. We're going to be trading away Nikola Jokic, a first-round draft pick for Yusuf Nurkic, and a second-round draft pick. Okay, this is the final team going into the second season. We got Bam Adebayo carrying us. With a 90 overall, we got Jonathan Isaac now, Yusuf Nurkic, Tyler Hero. Jalen Brunson is going to be our starter because we lost Lonzo Ball. He was asking for too much, and he, he just ain't worth it. And we got Dennis Schroeder coming off the bench as a six-man. New Orleans Noel, uh, Duncan Robinson, and Dory Finney-Smith. So I think we're going to be even better than last year. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, we got a little mid-season trade for y'all. We're going to be trying to weigh Joe Ingles. Isaiah Thomas for Jabari Parker and Gary Clark. And we also got DeJounte Murray for Dennis Schroeder and Jalen Brunson, but we got Jalen Brunson back with a couple of sly moves. So I think our team is stacked for the rest of the year. Once again, I'll see you at the end of the year. All right, guys, we actually did better than we did last season. Um, I think by one or two wins. We went 54 and 23. So let's check out some of these awards and then let's see where we are in the conference. Trey Young, first time we're ever seeing him as the MVP. 37 points, 9 assists. That come on man, that's crazy. Anthony Edwards. RJ Barrett, the six man, okay. Giannis, of course. And Shea Gilders Alexander. Haven't seen him yet either. They all did really good. And Lloyd Pierce, I guess. Okay, I don't see nobody on our team. Except Jonathan Isaac for defensive team. So, that's good. Um, we are number four in the standings. It's not as good as last year, but I guess the East has gotten a lot better. So, let's check out some stats while we're here. Um, Tyler Hero was actually our leading scorer uh, with 20 points. And Bam out of bio with 19 and 11 John J. Murray, he did okay. I would like for him to do a little bit more. 18 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Nurkic, he did okay. Uh, 16, 16, 12. Jalen Brunson came off the bench, averaged 13 points. Isaac, he needs to shoot a little bit more. He's, too, he's really too good to only be getting 11 points a game. So, with that being said, let's see if we can beat the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round of the playoffs. Okay. We're at 1-0. We're up 2-0. We're up 3-0. We're up... Okay. We actually swept the Philadelphia 76ers. And we're the fourth seed and they're the fifth seed. That's a bit crazy to me. Um, Joel Embiid, 29-11-2. Ben Simmons. Kelly Olenek actually went off on well, only 18 points. Um, 35 points for York. Nurkic, really good. 35-11. Murray had a really good game. 19-10. 18 for Jabari Parker. Mm. 
Charlie Hero, 17 points. Okay. Everybody did pretty well this game. Pretty well. Okay, we're going to be going up against the Atlanta Hawks. Now, this might be a little bit tough because, you know, Trey Young is the MVP. So, hopefully, DeJounte Murray can do an okay job on him. But we'll see. Okay. Well, they're up 1 0. 1 1, 2 1, 3 1, 4 1. We actually beat the reigning MVP. This is absolutely crazy. Let's check out box score. Trey Young still freaking killed us for 39 points, but he has nobody else. That's how he was able to get 37 points because he has nobody else on his team. Yeah, his team, he has nobody. I mean, uh, Collins is still there, but he's not really doing much. Jonathan Isaac with 30 points. This is the game we expected from this guy. 29 points from Bam. Uh, 24 points for Hero. 20 and 9 and 5 for DeJounte Mary. Really good. Okay, now we're going to be going up against the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's see if we can make it to the finals right here. Okay, they're up 1 0, 1 1, 2 1, 3 1, 3 2. 4-2. We've made it to the finals with the Miami Heat. Jason Tam, 29 points, and nobody else really did anything else. Jalen Brown, 15 and 10. They're really good. Hero, 18 points. Jonathan Isaac, 15 and 10. Bam out of bow, 15, 13. Nurkic, Nurkic got no boards whatsoever. That, that's actually really shocking. He got no boards. And, okay, everybody else did pretty good. Okay, this is a really good game. Now we're going to be going up against the Miami Heat. Let's check out their team. I mean, actually, we're going to be going up against the Jazz. Let's see who's on their team. Okay, on their team, they got Donovan Mitchell, who we're definitely going to need to put a great defensive player on. But we have four great defensive players in our starting lineup, so we should be fine. Lonzo Ball, the dude who left us, <laughs> crazy enough. Bojan Bo 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 Bojanovic, okay. Daniel Thais, okay, so... The way I'm looking at this is we should definitely kill him on the boards and defensively we should absolutely suffer him. So with that being said, let's go on to Simcast and I'm gonna change up some matchups and let's see if we can beat him game one. Okay, game one of the NBA Finals. Can the Miami Heat, the fourth seed, beat the Utah Jazz in game one at home? Let's see. Okay, this is actually looking pretty solid. We've taken the lead and we're not going to give it up. We beat him 128 to 104. Uh, DeJounte Murray, 24 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. Isaac, 22 points. Nurkic, 20 points. Bam, 14 and 11. Hero, 13 and 14. I mean, 13 and whatever else he got. Jordan Clarkson? Is this? Wow, okay. Jordan Clarkson was their leading scorer, 22 points. Donovan Mitchell, he didn't shoot good really at all. And nobody else really did anything else. And nobody else really did anything on their team. So this is looking pretty good for us. Okay. This is looking really good for us again. It looks like we're going to blow them out by a sizable margin. We beat them 122 to 91. Tyler Hero, 22 points. Nurkish, 19 and 12. Isaac, 16. Parker, 16. Bam, 16. Okay. Donovan Mitchell, 25 points. We are absolutely shutting down Donovan Mitchell. I mean, 25 points is still a sizable margin, but. It's not nothing crazy what he would have if we didn't have no defenders and nobody else did nothing. He's absolutely, yo, he's absolutely carrying their team. He has no help whatsoever. Okay, let's see if we can beat him. Um, this one isn't looking too good. Wow, we actually come back late. Look at this. In the fourth quarter, we scored 42 points. We scored 42 points in the fourth quarter, and they scored 20, and we beat them 115 to 113. Jonathan Isaac, 23 points, 7 rebounds. Brunson, 19 points and 7 assists. DeJounte Murray with a triple-double, 18, 12, and 10. Jabari, okay. Um, Bam didn't really do much. Bam really isn't doing much this playoffs, even though he's going up against Bo, Bo John Barjanovic. Come on. Okay, let's see if we can sweep the Utah Jazz. Okay, um, this one's looking really good. We're not going to give the lead up. I'm, wait, wait, wait. Actually, we might. This is a pretty close game. Um, oh, no. Once we're up by 10 this late, we're definitely going to win. Okay, 143. I'm going to wait till a minute. Okay, we're up 130, 116. It's looking like the Miami Heat are going to win a championship in their second season after many trades. 
we've made it to glory. I'm going to jump in. I'll see y'all there. Okay. With five seconds left, we're going to win the NBA champion with the Miami Heat. In our second season, I couldn't have scripted this any better. Bam Adebayo is all we needed. We didn't need no Jimmy Butler. Now, I know some of you Miami Heat fans might hate me, but then again, you can't tell me that you wouldn't trade Jimmy Butler to get another championship. Come on. This is amazing. Second season, we're on a roll. Eric Spolstra gets another championship added to his legacy because you already know he's going to the Hall of Fame. And isn't this just a sight to see? I know it is. Reminds me of when LeBron was on the Heat. But with that being said, and look, DeJounte Murray is the Finals MVP. Let's get it, yo. <laughs> Let's get it. I'll see y'all when we check out some stats. Okay, here are the stats for y'all. We got 40 points for Mitchell. Just absolutely, he did not want to go home. But it's like, I feel bad for him because he really has no help. He shot 31 shots. Nobody, on, nobody else on his team shot more than 10 shots. Nobody. So he had absolutely no help. And Lonzo Ball, the dude who left us because he wanted more money, 22 million worth. Only two points? Only two points, Lonzo? Come on. Lonzo wasn't doing nothing without us. Lonzo needs us. But let's check out us. Tyler Hero, absolutely killing it. Six for six for twelve from three. Thirty points. Nurkish 21. He still ain't getting no rebounds, really. Jonathan Isaac, 20 points. DeJounte Murray, 19 and 10. He's a finals MVP, respectfully. Um, Bam out of bio, 13 11. He's, he, he hasn't really been doing much as we want him to, but that's fine with me. Let's check out the official finals MVP stats. I'll see y'all there. Okay, DeJounte Murray, finals MVP stats, 18 points a game, 8 rebounds a game, and 9 assists a game, and 2 steals a game. This, this dude's an absolute beast. He was definitely worth the midseason trade. Absolutely worth the midseason trade. Oh, I'm excited for a third final season. I'll see y'all there with the final roster. All right, guys. This is the final team going to the final season. We still got Bam Adebayo. Still killing it. Yusuf Nurkic, Jonathan Isaac, Tyler Hero, the savior of last season, DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brunson. Dunk, well, we brung back Duncan Robinson, actually. Jabari Parker, um, and this dude that we drafted, Jane McDaniels, he's actually developed into a pretty solid guy, so he's definitely going to get some playing time this year, and everybody else really isn't going to get minutes, really. <laughs> so with that being said, i see you guys at the end of the season. Let's see if we can even repeat back-to-back. -back. Who knows? See you there. Okay, the Miami Heat are the best team in the league right now. We already have the number one seed, I'm pretty sure. We have went on a record breaking pace of going 65 and 17. This is probably the best record in Miami Heat history. I'm not sure, but I think it's pretty close. So, with that being said, let's check out some awards. Giannis, of course, I'm not even gonna go over him, even though he's on the Lakers. I expect to see them in the finals. Even Mobley, whoever that is. <laughs> LaMelo Ball was the sixth man of the year. Ain't that something? And Giannis, of course, defensive player of the year. Wherever Giannis go, he just he just kills it. Eric Spolstra, coach of the year. I know y'all Miami Heat fans love to see that. 65-17. 25 years? Damn. Okay. I guess. But <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Um, anybody on our team? Um, Bam out of bio. He made the third team. Okay. Finally, at least somebody made it. Uh, just basically the same people. Uh, John Pink Isaac, he made the second team now. And that's about it. We are, of course, first seed. Uh, let's check out some stats. For leading us again with 20 points per game. Bam out of bio, 18 and 12. Yusuf Nurkic, 17 and 14 rebounds a game. Really good. Um, DeJounte Murray, 16, 16, 6, and 8. Really good. Jonathan Isaac, he scored a little bit more this year, but I'm sure playoff Isaac, Isaac will come out and he'll show his ass. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited. 
Okay. Who are we going up against? We're going up against the Chicago Bulls. Now, I know they still have Zach Levine, and that's probably about it. So, let's see if we can beat them in the first round. They're up 1-0. 1-1. 2-1. 3-1. 4-1. They gave us a little bit of scare, but we came back. Okay, Tyler Hero absolutely killed it. 34 points. Bam, 22. Nurkish, 22 and 17. Murray, 14 and 9. Isaac, 14 and 8. Okay, Zach Levine killed us. 30 points. Uh, McMahon in 18 and nobody else really did anything. Kobe White, he's pretty good, but he didn't really do much. So let's see if we can beat the Charlotte Hornets. I don't even know who's on the team except uh, Bridges, maybe. Okay. They're up 1 0. 2 3. Hold up. We're going to go on the Simcast and we're going to see if we can make a comeback. Um, I got to change the matchups real quick. I'll be right with y'all. Okay, game four. Let's hope we just don't get swept here, and let's see what happens. <sighs> okay, we've taken the lead. It's really back and forth game. Can we pull it out on the end? It's not looking good, and we have been swept in the second round of the playoffs. Now, the sucky part about it is that an old, an old foe on the Miami Heat is beating us. Let's check out their roster. Y'all might call me a dumbass. <laughs> and, well, this, it, it might bit me in the ass, actually. Let's look at their team. Yeah. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler came back and whooped our fucking ass. <laughs> and, of course, they had Anthony Davis, too. But, Jimmy Butler, you know that this was personal for him. You know damn well that this was personal for him. But... As long as they don't win championship, I don't really care. So let's see who actually wins the championship. Okay, they're going to be going up against the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn's looking really good. 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, two. Oh, shit. They made it there. Oh, gosh. What's going to happen? Jimmy's going to take a chip. Okay. Oh, the Charlotte Hornets are your champions. Is that that Jimmy Trey is looking like it just bit us in the ass. I mean, we got a championship, but then he comes back and wins the championship next year. But let's take a look at this final team. I wouldn't say that this was an unsuccessful rebuild. I would think, you know, we win the championship in the second year as the fourth seed, and we come back with a 65-17 and 17 record, and we really could have done better in the playoffs. But Bam Adebayo, Yusuf Nurkic, Isaac, Hero, DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brunson, and these other dudes right here. I could have gave more minutes to other people, but that's the final team. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, what team is next? I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.